Hey, welcome back to Triple R, Random Work Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at some die-cast WWE figures. So I've shown them in the past. We're going to pop these open and see the good and the bad. So I like them, but there are some bad things that we're going to talk about. All right, so we have Nikki Bella. Sasha Banks. Go ahead and pop over Nikki Bella. So the cards are cool. Gives you a list of who's available. So the detail is not great. So if you didn't know, this was like Nikki Bella's current outfit at the time. I think if you popped it open. And they are die cats, they're, they're sturdy. A bit better. This is actually one of the better ones I've seen. So, Mickey Bell doesn't look too bad. So, we'll tell you who it is at the bottom. And the base is sturdy, big enough. You can plop them down, stand. And Hustle Banks. So, I like miniatures. So I picked a lot of these up. I'm not even a, a big fan of either one of these really. Probably more Sasha Banks than Nikki Bella because he's just a better wrestler. So let's so get a better detail here. Who it is. So that was a good idea to uh, put the names on the bottom, I think. So, so very small. But if you're a WWE fan, you want them for your, like, your desk or something, or just a, a nice collectible because they're cheap or a dollar, if not less. Um, like I said, uh, a video a while back, <laughs> I saw people on eBay. I'm on there for like five bucks or whatever, but take your dollar store or wherever, 99 cents. I think at Walmart they were 89 cents initially. So these are the nano metal figs. Right now they're doing a lot of uh, 80s, like car retro stuff. They got like a Smoking and Bandit, showing the Knight Rider on here and the car. But here's WWE, Sasha Banks and Nikki Bella. 